three. Well, welcome to the Garth Ronnie Show, where we launch things, and it's not just about uh, confetti launchers or you know brand new uh, corks out of champagne. Although we probably should, because a brand new show is about to be born with my good friend Tiffany Saint Germain. Tiff Talk today. There you go. Yeah, there you can have your own show. Yeah. How do you exciting. feel about that? I feel very excited about it, actually. People say that uh, you have uh, Tiffany. You have Tiffany epiphanies. So I have that's, Tiffany epiphanies. Tell me about those. I think it's uh, because I have an obsessive compulsive disorder. No, I don't know. I think what I mean, like you're weird. I I'm weird, and I I overthink things and I analyze things. But then I, occasionally I do come up with some Tiffany epiphanies from those things that I overthink. So. So, do you think there's enough to talk about? I think there's tons to talk about. Yeah, but Tiffany, it can't be the same old garbage that's out there all the time. Exactly. Like, conversations that seem to go nowhere. Exactly. So how do, how do we change that? I mean, what are you going to talk about? I mean, some of those issues that everybody that wants to go, oh, oh, oh. And you know what? I think that's really what this all came from. I've always loved to write, and uh, you've known me long enough to know I've always liked to talk to. Um, and I think part of it is that I've, I have... Um, Part of my disorder is that I, I just kind of say whatever is on my mind. Which is really uh, hurts. It I can. Yeah, I've been, it, I've, been, some, I've been on the other side of that. You have been on the other <laughs> side of it. And I never mean it to hurt and I never mean to be uh, uh, too abrupt with people because I think I, I'm actually a very caring person and and I I love people and I love hearing their stories and I, I really do try to be a good friend and, and be there for people. And I think part of just who I am is I let it out and I, I don't really hold back and I appreciate that in others as well. And from that honesty, sometimes perhaps too pure an honesty, um, it really does open a lot of barriers and okay. you find out information. But here's the question, um, women, like women are not talking. No, seriously, I mean, yeah. like as a, as a guy, you know, because it, it, it's going to be kind of like a lifestyle show you're doing. I find that women are not saying what's on their mind, and all of a sudden, and, and the, the signals are being missed. And finally, when, in my opinion, when a woman finally says it, it's kind of like you know, either too late, or it's like um, it hurts. It does and as hurt. a guy, I'm like, where did this come from? Because maybe I'm blissfully unaware. Well, I think I think it's more than just being unaware. I mean you know some of the things that I've written about so far on on my blog and kind of tried to open up some of these ideas and stuff is really that I think because as a society we have always been very hush hush especially in our in our lives in the lifestyle side of things business stuff we tend to be a little bit more open with people but when it comes to our day-to-day -day life I mean the way I kind of look at it as you know even for me I think that you know I was given a Martha Stewart magazine this is the analogy I like you know, years ago, and it's like, okay, so I'm going to go to work, and I'm going to um, do what I have to do, and I'm going to make money, and I'm going to do all of these things. I've always been very career-driven, but wait a second, I still need to make sure that I get married at a certain time, and have kids, and get the house, and make sure that I have the cars, and I have the garden just so, and all of these things. And then, you know, 15 years after being married, you kind of go, wait a second, somebody gave me the wrong magazine, <laughs> and you start to look at your life a little bit differently. And I don't think that I'm alone in that. I think that many, many people get to a certain point in their life where they realize that they may have been living to someone else's ideals. And because we don't talk about this stuff openly and no one ever admits, you know, years ago, could you imagine your grandmother or your grandfather opening up to you and saying, you know, I had a midlife crisis. I had an identity crisis. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I had issues in my marriage. I had this. We never talk about those really personal things. And so people start to think that they're abnormal somehow, when really they're not. They're actually very normal. And a lot of these things that happen are very, very normal. And I think by opening that door and starting to talk about these things, then we maybe won't have those such issues where you think people are just so repressed. Many, many of them are, are repressed because they feel they have to be. So tell me that this show isn't going to be like... A chick whiny show. Not a chick whiny show. Not a chick whiny show. It's not. It's not a, about the. Uh, Am I in trouble for saying that? Uh, no, Am I don't I, think so at all. I you, don't think you know the ones I'm talking about. They get together and they whine. Absolutely. No, I actually. I, I think it shouldn't be just chicks anyway. I think it should be everybody. I mean, it, you, you know, you and I have had some of the best conversations ever, 
And I think when you can be open and honest, and especially with between both genders, and you can really learn about, you know, with your male friends, what might your husband be thinking? With your female th thing, uh, friends, what might your, your wife be thinking? And really pushing those boundaries and saying, you know, let's bring up topics about sex. Let's bring up topics about affairs. Let's bring up topics about things that just are generally not spoken about. I agree. Some of the best information I've gotten has been in the last number of years with people that I've had an opportunity to ask. As a guy, you know, I, I'm blissfully unaware, um, but I'm curious. I'm curious, so I say, well, what happens when this happens in my relationship? And I've had some of my close female friends say, okay, well, that's what this is saying, and that's where you're not putting it right. And then, you're right, we've had these conversations. I go, oh, well, i tell you what the guy's thinking. Sure. That conversation doesn't happen. It's usually either all the chicks or the girls' point of view, female point of view, and then there's the guys like, well, let's get a beer and you know, hit each other over the head. And yet I'm seeing more and more today where more relationships are failing than ever. Or I don't know if they're failing. Let's just say that they're changing because I think the word failing is a very judgmental thing. We see they're changing. There could be some circumvention or intervention, right? That's sure. kind of the stuff we've talked about. Absolutely. And what's the guy thinking and where, where is their head at? Um, this is a big problem and then but it was very popular for a long time that as soon as something was going wrong in any relationship and that includes uh, relationships at work with your kids or whatever um, that all of, all of a sudden there had to be uh, a villain and a victim right it can't possibly just be that this is life and that perhaps you know unveiling some of these deep dark secrets that people have um, really allows you to realize that you're not abnormal and that maybe some of these feelings are very natural maybe if we talked about them earlier we could prevent things from getting worse and worse or not sometimes you know as far as relationships go you know it's it's kind of like the the unspoken word well my husband would never think about another woman my my wife would never think about another man um you know really any topic you can come up with that allows us to be open with each other and say you know well this is how i think and i mean for women especially you know it shouldn't be about you know it, it's not all when we're talking amongst ourselves it's not always oh he's so cute oh he's so this it's okay for women to talk about sex sex not just you know he's cute he's this why is it that traditionally it hasn't been something that we can actually discuss and that women's needs change men's needs change um, I think if we were more open about that stuff it would actually make a lot of us feel better about life I think a lot of people actually retreat into themselves become very very depressed have major issues I think a lot of suicide could pro probably be prevented if people didn't think that they were alone in their feelings in this world we've really done a good job at not dialoguing but yet today with uh, the internet with uh, Facebook Twitter MySpace uh, YouTube, we're actually now seeing that people are communicating, texting. Mm -hmm. Texting's added a whole different dy dynamic to relationships. Uh, some playful, some curious, some misleading. Um, what is the intonation, all that? So on your on the show, um, you know, Tiff Talk today, you'll be exploring all of that. Yes. That's going to be very all cool. All right. Well, you know what? I think, I think that you have the makings of a good show. I'm looking forward to being a guest once or twice. Thank you. And and then what'll happen is you know we'll inv we'll invite other people if we can rock some people's worlds a little bit. Yeah. That may prevent them from hitting the rocks later on, and maybe enjoying it a little better. And you know what? Some people may not be ready to open up, but just by hearing some of the topics opened up by other folks and hearing other people talking about it, it might get them out of their shell and and allow them to see that it's it's not just the sunshiny you know. Uh, Sunshine surface. lollipops. Yeah. All right. So coming up very shortly, you'll be seeing uh, Tiff talk today, and uh, that'll be a column that you can get to a blog and as well as a, a new show on the internet. So I'm sure uh, we'll see you there. And if not, we'll just be looking at you, and you won't even know it. <laughs> Take good care. Thanks for tuning in.